Kurtzky. Lenin wants to see you. Good. He says you must stand against Stalin before it is too late. You must help Lenin now. That's good. Tomorrow. Where is he? He's not to be disturbed. Just re-reading my essays from 1903. They came out again. It is very interesting to see now how stupid we were at that time. <laughs> Those official. Yes. I'm reading official reports. The doctors have are responsible to you. They do what you say. Organizationally, yes, but medically, it's you they worry about. They do not want you burdened. Burden? Is it a burden to read newspapers? To even talk politics? Newspaper? Yes, real newspapers, not the kind you had printed for me. One single copy for Lenin. Single copies full of good news. What a waste of money just to keep me out of politics. It's to help you recovery. No, to keep me out of politics. <laughs> so, I'm not to know what's going on in the country. Forbidden to read our own newspapers. Let Comrade Lenin read your fairy tales. What nonsense. What damn nonsense. No, it's to, to speed your recovery. We need your recovery. We need Comrade Lenin's leadership. How can Comrade Lenin lead if he's denied information? Doctor's orders. Doctor's orders? Mm -hmm. Not Stalin's orders? Mm -hmm. yeah. The situation in Georgia. You are it's Georgian. All, it's you. All, it's all under you. Control. There's nothing to worry about. The, all your health. The. Your health. The. Call Trotsky, you stupid bitch. Did you think that I wouldn't know? He's not to meet with Trotsky or anyone. What are you trying to do? To kill him? Peace da! Peace da, Stephen Dying. 